Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease, it's obvious. So you're about to watch a meeting from one of my calls with my community, The Life Force, where we talked about content creation. And specifically, what is really cool about this video is Gold Soul's story because right after this call, Gold Soul went from having a few thousands of followers to over 200,000 followers having 30 million views. Well, that's right now. But in a span of a week, went from zero following to 1,000 people following him on TikTok. So this was a super cool call because because Goldsoul was kind of unsure. He was a little hesitant about going hard on TikTok and he, and going hard on Instagram. So it was really cool to just be able to talk about content creation and all the benefits of content creation. A week afterwards, yeah, he, I mean, the rest is history. He just absolutely exploded. What's your fear behind it? Because that's what I do. I talk about, like, what's scary about it? What, what does you not like? Yeah. Um, I don't even know. It's just, like, I'm just not, like, using it. I, I, I got this new job. Yeah. Come on, Gold Soul, we want you on TikTok. Get on TikTok. <laughs> do it! <laughs> I'm about to start uploading a TikTok every day. Yeah, you, yeah it'll give you what you want. Both sides to it. Yeah. So our life force meeting was on July 17th. So just about a week after Goldson made um, he made his account, and then he made one of his first videos ever. Um, and hell yeah, we were so I was so pumped that he actually like made the TikTok. Um, he was wondering how to put his YouTube videos on his TikToks because he had so many great ideas. And then eventually, that's exactly that's exactly what he did. Um, and within two weeks, he had 1K plus following. And then, yeah, he posted this video right here, which absolutely just exploded everything for him. Uh, yeah, two to 3K followers in a day. Um, and then, scroll down and then this video like did so well for him it got 168,000 comments i mean that's just that's insane that's absolutely insane um 10k following in less than a month so yeah he he absolutely just yeah he absolutely crushed it so now this is where he's at uh 131,000 on tiktok and 78,000 on Instagram. So yeah, Gold Soul is absolutely doing incredible and I'm so happy for him. So without further ado, here's the clip of their meeting right before this explosion happened for him. For me personally, like I see all, all my releases as like campaigns. Like I like to look at things as like campaigns like when it comes to releases. So like having a ton of content out uh, or having a ton of content ready, like having the you know website ready, um, having because like for, honestly, like when it comes to building an audience, a huge part of building an audience is like the story. Like it's 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 so much of just the story, and that's literally what helps to build a relationship with you like no matter what you do no matter what you do and it could be anything like musician business like art i don't know like paintings whatever graphics the people people who really become fans hardcore fans they they're all about the story because they connect with that they resonate with that the most so it's like yeah, as you guys can see, like, for nothing to lose, I'm, I'm always, like, posting, like, even if it's not directly, like, I'll try to link uh, certain parts of whatever post or, like, the message to nothing to lose. So it's, like, because I try to, like, make it into a big campaign. Because I don't, I don't want to just release, like, a bunch of songs and, th like, them flop and you know because I, I used to yeah. release a bunch of songs in the past and they would get just hundreds of views like <clears throat> it, it's yeah it's just, i do the same i know what you're saying i just right now i don't do any of the like storytelling or any like trying to get the fans on board i'm just like dropping music so mm -hmm. i see what you're doing like definitely uh, helping me figure out a lane if i want to go that route yeah yeah um, 
it's real. It's 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 getting in front of people's faces. Like like Izo, I know you have your question. That's awesome. I saw you. I, I just saw your post that you you had a meeting with someone. I don't know if it was a client or yeah. Uh, it was a client. Yeah. That's awesome. That that's that's great stuff. Like right there. Thanks. Like, like if you if you post, um. Say, 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 like you made that one post about your uh, client <laughs> meeting, like what you can do. I don't, I don't actually get to check out your story right after that, but like I don't know if you did this or anything like this. But like in your stories, you can just like take different parts of your meeting and craft like five to ten stories around what your meeting was about, and just just giving value, just giving value in your stories. Because you yeah. have you ha you have a decent sized following, like you don't need a shit ton of followers. Like you just need a really engaged following. Like I rather have ten thousand or whatever. Like yeah, I, let's let's just say this. I rather have ten thousand deeply engaged people than a hundred thousand not engaged people. You know what I mean? It's just the hundred thousand is not gonna do anything if they're not engaged with you at all. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it with my music. Um, like the people that have been following me, like close, I can tell they're more engaged because like they know part of me that all the people on the internet don't know. Mm -hmm. So like, if I was able to get that out, I would get more people to be engaged. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I just have to create more content. So. Yeah, yeah, content, content is everything. Are you on? Are you on TikTok, Goto? Um, kind of. I, I've tried, like, I've downloaded a couple times, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I just haven't. I was thinking about, like, starting a YouTube and stuff, but I don't know. I'm still in the beginning process of that. Yeah. Yeah. What about Reels? You know what I noticed? That, like, before, because, yeah. you know, when Reels first came out, mm -hmm. I was, like, stoked. But from an acting perspective, I was like, oh my gosh, my reels have to be so good, you know? <laughs> like they need to be polished, perfect. But then I saw everybody posting TikToks on reels and like they're just whatever. Like sometimes they're, you know, really well done. Other times it's just like simple. Mm -hmm. um, and then they're getting hits because they're catching the algorithm because of the sound they were using and the yeah. topic and stuff. And so I was like, okay, so even though I was like trained in acting, my reels don't have to be like my best self. It can just be literally just fun stuff, just yeah. that hits the algorithm. And so then I started putting TikToks yeah. on my reels and some of them were really catching on, you know, like I was getting thousands of views even though I don't have a thousand followers, but yeah. like my reels were catching. And mm -hmm. then I didn't, um, I saw this on TikTok. I saw somebody talking about how Instagram CEO is like, yeah, we really got to compete with, in with TikTok and YouTube. And so we're going to be pushing our reels more and our pictures less. We're going to make it more of a video mm -hmm. kind of platform. Yeah. And then I realized that whenever I was posting TikToks with like the, they talk a lot about like the, the video on the platform that it is to, for it to look native to the platform. So when I post my TikToks on Instagram, mm -hmm. it has the TikTok logo or it'll have the TikTok text. Yeah. And I feel like those don't want to catch as, as easily. But if I make it on Instagram and I use like a filter from Instagram and like yeah. I even tagged in one of my videos like Instagram, I use this. There's no TikTok like logo here i use i made it on here and that one hit you know oh, what i did mean it? it's like yeah yeah oh, so wow. it's like gold so like if you try making some reels on instagram like yeah. you never know like those could hit mm -hmm. that's a good idea i'm actually gonna think about that because that makes more sense than tiktok for me because i've been more active on instagram yeah yeah i mean you're yeah. already on the platform yeah i just don't I don't know. I don't like social media a whole lot. Like, there's too much. They push too much, like, attention grabbing stuff. Like, I'm sure you guys know, like, girls yeah. on TikTok dancing and all that. It's crazy, man. Yeah. But at the same time, you can do the attention grabbing stuff that relates more to you. Like, you don't. Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 It's right. like, I don't know. I just have a relationship with social media. It's like there's good and bad, and sometimes I'm just like, 
don't want to even deal with social media. I mean, personally, for me, yeah, I don't, like, I know, I get what you're saying. Like, there's so much bullshit. There's so much bullshit that I just don't care about at all. And honestly, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's so much bullshit out there, but it's like, what do you, like, what is your, like, desired outcome? And can you use this to your advantage? And it's like, you don't have to even look at anyone's videos. You don't have to. You, yeah. don't, ha you don't have to follow any of those people. You don't have to look at your Discover page. You don't have to do any of that. But I, I, honestly, the Discover page is pretty incredible. Like, uh, like yeah. it, it, if you're like, <laughs> it sounds hilarious. It's, it's just like, crazy. if you're, if you're, that's, a, that's the thing. It's like, consume the content that relates with you the most. Like, what are you posting about? Watch, look at that content. Try to spend least, uh, the least amount of content or time on the content that doesn't, isn't like your music, isn't like your messages. Because for me, my Discover, my Discover page is actually really helpful. Like I've gotten so many great ideas from my Discover page. I'll just screenshot it, and crop it, and then put it on TikTok, and it, it's done yeah. great. You know what I'm saying? Like, or yeah. So it's like. Just don't consume the shit that you don't want to consume. Yeah. Just unfollow all the bullshit. Don't follow it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So are sometimes, you saying from... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, like, sometimes it's even hard not to get stuck in those, like, loops of stuff I don't want to be paying attention to. Yeah. Yeah, totally. It, yeah, it, it does happen, and I even... We'll fucking watch a video of a kangaroo with a little baby in his pouch. <laughs> 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 that happened yesterday or the other day. And I was just watching it over and over with my with my <laughs> I'm like, look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> it's a total time waster, honestly. I'm talking on my phone. Yeah. It's a total time waster. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, it's just discipline. Like, how much do you discipline yourself? And... Yeah, it's just like fine. not only is it um just that and like i know there's so many successful people that just cut out instagram completely or they'll just they'll just limit it like that's what i see the successful people do um but it's really also disciplining yourself in many other areas uh, at the um at the same time like are you are you doing your meditation like are you doing Wim Hof breathing i don't like i don't know what you do personally like i know i know you're interested in some of that stuff um, I don't know what your discipline regime is like, but I know for me, it's like making time to work out, making time to do affirmations, like, b because it's, it's like many times I don't feel like doing Wim Hof breathing. Like so many times I don't feel like it, but like when I, after I do it, it's like, fuck yeah. Like I actually, I made myself do it and now I feel so much better. Not because of how Wim Hof breathing makes me feel, but it's like, I made myself do that even though I didn't feel like doing it. it you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, definitely. It's just doing, having a shit ton of those things that you discipline yourself will carry on to Instagram. It will make, because if you carry that same mindset of discipline, you're not going to be spending so much time on the bullshit. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah. It's and like, you know, if you um, smoke a lot, <laughs> which I love doing, but I, I don't do it that much right now, it's a lot easier to do just just get zoned in you know and like whoa this is crazy like I, you don't even think about it but you can always use tools like um you could set a timer and say like i'm gonna just mess around on instagram or on social media for like 30 minutes and i don't even care what i watch but i'm just gonna do whatever and then when the timer goes off all right now i'm gonna meditate or right now yeah. i'm gonna go for a run yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. to be in boss status right yes yeah. Yeah, i've heard that i've heard uh successful people do that as well um, many people they'll like they'll put, they'll put their they'll lock their phone away somewhere, um, yeah, and they'll have a time they'll even have a time for themselves for when to do social media yeah so I hear that works too, um, I I usually just put my phone on do not disturb mode, and just put it off to the side like that's what I'll do when I have deep focus mode. Um, but yeah, I like also what you said, Izo, about Instagram Reels because I I only post my TikTok shit on there. Like I don't feel like taking the time <laughs> to uh, to do that. But I have actually in the past before, and it actually did work really well. I actually do remember. I was like so surprised. I was like I expected this to flop hardcore, but it did like so well, and I was like, damn, like. <laughs> 
right? It's because Instagram's like, oh yeah, make reels here. Yeah. Spend time here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So definitely <laughs> worth it. But even I think it's still worth it to post your TikToks, even if it has yeah. that so-called minimum. Uh, if they try to like um, minimize the reach, like. Right. It still does incredible for me, like, personally. Like, the TikTok. Yeah. Like, IG Reels also, they have so... You get so many more views than just posting a regular video. Like, mm -hmm. you, can, you can see it on anyone's profile. Like, almost anyone. So, definitely... Especially... Definitely, uh, yeah, go ahead. Especially with pictures, too. I noticed, because, like, I have the creator account, right, on my mm -hmm. Instagram. So, if I post a picture, like, I don't, I'll see that it got, like... 100 views or maybe more but i'll only get like 20 likes you know mm -hmm. but if i post the video i know those 100 views are going to show up so mm -hmm. that's why i like to post videos more because i know people whether they like me or not like i'm gonna see that you were there <laughs> yeah yeah true, true. yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but it's uh it's it's building the story though really it's and it's getting in front of people's faces like I, I'm not a fan of Lil Nas X, but um, I followed him just so I can just so I could learn from him because he's killing it on on TikTok and um, there was a while I was just watching a bunch of his videos and like what what he would do is, is similar to me honestly he he would just keep using this his like he would release a single and then he has like 50 TikToks of the same song but just he makes different content around it and it's like. If that just keeps getting in front of people's face, they're gonna get so used to that song, they're gonna start liking it. Like, it's like that. That's so, it's so weird, but it's such a it's such a true thing. Like, if you just hear something more and more and more, it like grows on you, and you're like, yeah, I can, okay, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah, true. but no, gold. So I totally feel you. I mean, uh, like social media, it's there's a lot of artists that. Uh, that, that don't use it and um i mean they do good but it's like a lot of those people have, they, they either had like these connections or they have this crazy story like it's like right now that for me personally i see social media as such a powerful tool it's like no matter what i can do um anything else i can do like this i feel like has the most roi like more than like anything really yeah you can, you can no go ahead very good um well just that like, even now, because of COVID and everything, how, like, you know, for a while, like, we were watching television shows that had, like, the whole production team, you know, like, hundreds of people in the studio making something look so good. But then COVID hit and nobody could go in the studio. They had to film from home, like, like Jimmy Kimmel, you know, and, like, different. They were doing... Oh my god, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's okay. But, like, you know, Trevor Noah and, like, a bunch of news people, they're, like, filming from the house. And it's like, that was so powerful to me because, you know, you got like Ryan Reynolds and like a bunch of famous Hollywood actors on TikTok now. It's like, <laughs> they're at the same level now. Like everybody can do this, yeah. you know? And so for, and I wanted to say something for to you, Gold Soul too. It's like, I personally, I don't know if it sounds weird or not, but like, I would love to see more of your stuff on Instagram. Like I sometimes like, if I see you, like I'll check on your page and I'm like, dang, like, I hope Golta pulls in the end. <laughs> that sounds weird, but like I, I seriously would love to, to see more of your stuff. So you got a fan over here waiting. So yeah, oh, I'm sure a lot of people feel like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just gotta figure it out. I don't know. What's your fear behind it? Because that's what I do. Um, I talk about like what's scary about it. What what did you not like? Yeah. Um, I don't even know. It's just like. Well, one thing, it's hard to put out music consistently. Like, if if I could, I would post it while I can, but I would post a song every week on Instagram because I heard, um, I forget the one rapper, I forget the names, but they would do that and work for them. But I don't know, I'm just not, like, using it. I, I, I got this new job, and it's taking up a bunch of my time, but I'm yeah. not just an excuse. No, I totally, I, I totally understand. Yo, Ashley. <laughs> I don't know if uh, <laughs> she's got this figured out. It's a whole new platform, but hey, we got the life force together. So, <laughs> um, I I'm in a similar situation, bro. Um, right now, like, 
ninety percent of my energy is like people might be surprised, but ninety percent of my energy is really towards my business. Like I like I started a marketing agency, and ninety percent of my energy is going to that. I I barely been working on music. It sucks. Like I, I like I know it sucks. Like I want to work more on music, but I do still enjoy this as uh, a lot too. But it's like you can use that to your advantage though. Like just because you can't post a song every week, every two weeks, every month, look at the positive side. You're building anticipation because you know what I mean. Like. If you do, you, you you probably do have people that really fuck with you and really like your music. You're building anticipation. It takes a lot less time to just post on social media than to build a whole new song. Because I get it, dude. Making a whole new song takes so much energy, so much time. And it's like us artists, like we want that shit perfect. Like, yeah. like there can't be no scratchy sound there can't be no high frequency sound that that grazes off the ear wrong like no this shit can't happen so i understand yeah but like posting posting a uh posting a like a, a video of some or some kind of content just just about the song it, it'll well how, mu how much reach could you get like thousand like a thousand views like whatever that's that's a lot actually like just yeah. a thousand views just to remind people about this new song that they can check out is extra streams and and d another d more of a deeper connection the more times they listen to it it's a deeper connection and yeah. and that's building mm -hmm. more anticipation you know what i'm saying so yeah, I feel that. i'm in the same boat like i'm not releasing a song every every week every two weeks not even every month that for right now it's been like every three months i've been yeah yeah for me it's like <clears throat> i want my music to be so good that it will like get buzz on its own like i'm not much of a business person when it comes to like music like i i got the creative aspect down i just don't have the marketing and all that and on instagram i was like trying to grow my page and i would follow yeah. people with similar videos and i would follow the people that like the similar videos mm -hmm. and i was building it up but it just felt like the people following weren't like super authentic so mm -hmm. that's kind of why i kind of like stopped on instagram mm -hmm. but i guess like with the reels like that's a way to get more people to see it you know gotcha dude um yeah, so right now, honestly, I feel like just letting the music speak for itself is not enough. Like, I honestly, I just don't see yeah. that with anyone, like no one like that I can think of, mm -hmm. any big artist really. Like, I mean, like, even like, I don't know, Lil Nas X, like he was freaking like posting on Reddit like 10 times a day, whatever, trying to like get his buzz up you know what i'm saying like you got to build your own buzz like i feel like yeah. just making good music is not it's just not like, well, like huh i i also like this is maybe like a, a block in my mind but i feel like i would need a team to like help me do all that but i know i could do it myself and just grind on social media but i don't know like that's a lot of time and energy yeah it is it is a lot of time and energy that's why that's why i say like social media right now like it's such a high roi like you if you like you get a thousand views per like post or whatever that's actually a lot of people like that's like a whole auditorium you know what i mean like that's that's huge that's a that's actually a pretty big roi because any of those people can become a deep fan anyone and i don't really think like that yeah, I mean it, it's it's seriously that it's seriously that big, and uh, people will be upset if they get twenty likes, or whatever. And it's like, you, ha you even if you have five hundred people that seen it, a lot of people that really like your music or whatever your post, they won't hit like, but they still really love you. <laughs> like I've had people tell me they'll be like, "Oh my god, I'm such a big fan of you," or whatever. Like they told me this, and I was like, "I've never seen you like a single post or a comment." And they're like, oh my god, you made the biggest impact on my life. Like, I listen to you every day. It's like, I had no idea. 
I had no clue. I had no clue who you were. You were, you, were, you know what I'm saying? All these... It's like, but it's like because I posted. I had no idea that these guys, mm. these people were fans, that these people were paying attention. But because I just was posting consistently, I, I got those fans. <laughs> like, like, you won't know what's... Be, you don't even know what's behind the scenes, really. Yeah. You can even hire someone to a, a higher VA, like, in, from the Philippines or something, to follow people for you, similar artists, they'll, they'll follow uh, similar artists, uh, their followers, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can hire someone to do that, like, even if it's just for a month. You can run ads, yeah. I, I've been doing this, like, I will run a campaign for a dollar a day, like, and it will be steady building up my uh, steady building up my right. yeah like I'll have like one campaign um, a, a dollar a day and it's it cost uh, like 10 to 17 cents for them to get to actually click and stream so that's like pretty good you know what I'm saying like that's pretty good and um, yeah it's it's if if you have any kind of budget, like I highly recommend just automating shit, like just having having your money work for you at the end of the day. But if you don't, then just you know use what you got, just post, just post. Like anything can go viral. It's fucking crazy. Like it's it's really just testing. It's really just testing and uh, yeah, build, building that relationship with people. I'm thinking about making a music video. And um, advertising on YouTube. Mm. I don't know if you guys have seen, but like, there'll be these songs before yeah, yeah. YouTube videos. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're pretty sick. So. I've, yeah, I, I have seen those. You want to make sure, if you do that, that the first 15 seconds is the song already starting. Like, the visual's already popping. Like, make, make sure that you start singing or something doing ad-libs or something start rapping like i know not many songs do that but you gotta catch the attention fast fast so now we're talking about growth hacks right and like how to catch the attention like tiktok status <laughs> pretty much yeah T tiktok taught me so much like just from like experimenting i i've learned so much that will forever apply to a whole number of areas for the rest of my life so that's why it's also worth testing out different platforms gary v talks about this all the time he'll always if there's a new platform coming up he'll spend some time because the skills that you learn from just testing and learning you might not think that has an immediate roi but this one little thing you learned from just testing something out for i don't know an hour can be highly you know bring you high returns 10 months down the line a year down the line when another platform comes in you know what i'm saying yeah but yeah growth hacks um attention is everything like catching the attention as fast as you can hooking them in as fast as you can so that's why like i know you're not a big fan of the attention grabbing stuff but like it works it, yeah. it really does it's crazy like, how much it works it yeah it's like, yeah there's like buzzwords bad too. and good yeah. Like secret, right? Using oh, th here's a secret to blank blank, mm -hmm. or three things that changed my life and blah blah blah. Like mm -hmm. you know, people watch that stuff. Yeah, and even if you're using like certain buzzwords or certain hooks, I this is huge. Like make sure you deliver on it. Like <laughs> try to deliver on it as much as you can. Don't say there's a secret and then not explain the secret at the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, and I always try, I always have the things where I say like, wait till the end, like on TikTok, because like I try to make, I try to leave the end like something a little better, like something that might surprise or have better lyrics at the very end, um, stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, hook them in, but de try to deliver as best as you can at the same time. Yeah, like be authentic, right? Mm -hmm. So like the hook, I guess you could see it kind of salesy which is for me what I've struggled in in the past. Like, oh, but I don't know, I don't want to be pushy. But then it's it's just something that everybody does. 
if you want to get people to watch. Mm. And so then after that is when I come up and I show up with like my authentic heart or my authentic info that I know if somebody watches it, it's going to affect their life in a positive way. So mm. it's like, I don't really care that the first few seconds I was like, you know, using these like tactics. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, my video is, you know, it's well-meaning video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Remind yourself of your intention. Yeah, don't forget. Like you have a positive intention, so it's not a bad thing that you're right. that you're doing it. Um. Yeah, because there's like, I, like I, I I don't remember this one artist. He was so good. He's so good. Like I could see this guy fucking blowing up, insane. And I don't know. He just doesn't post on social social media at all. Like. So no one knows who the fuck he is. No one knows who he is. Yeah. No one knows. I that's know him because like, like huh? Uh, so that's kind of like how yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just like the algorithm can only work so much to get you exposed. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, um, you might feel like I want to let my music speak to for itself, and the way that it would speak for itself is maybe someone really big hearing your song. And sh you know, uh, uh, I don't know, like broadcasting it on their social or something. But that the thing is, yes, there's a chance that can happen. It's kind of slim. The way to increase that chance is to get more eyeballs on it. It's just to get more eyeballs on it. So <laughs> increase your chances of that luck happening. Of that luck happening by posting more. Because the more you experiment, the more shit goes viral. So, like, so no matter what you do, like you make music or yeah, you're coaching, you're making, you're making beats, whatever you're doing, there's a bunch of people doing the same. Like they're already doing it, but it's like, how how are you gonna work harder than them? Are you gonna? You know what I mean? Are you going to outwork them? Are you going to differentiate yourself? You know, you have to do these things. You have to. It's it, This isn't... This is everywhere. Because the age of the internet is like... There's, everyone's out here now. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. So. Do you feel like you ever need to just like completely get away from the internet or do you feel like it's so, super important to utilize this going into the future because part of me feels like it's a whole new thing that people haven't experienced and like i feel like maybe we're getting too into it and not sticking to like um, i feel like you should always have an omnipresent approach so that means doing things that are also offline yeah you should you should think about those things and maybe even do some of those things but i mean if, if those things happen to even work out for you better like if you notice those things work out for you better then do that you don't have to do that if that's already working for yeah. you then do it for me personally doing things the internet has been just has paid off so much more yeah. so why would i why would i even take my attention off of it to do something that might not work or you know just hasn't really shown even close to the amount of impact that this has so no i don't actually like was your question do i think about like going off the internet or like yeah like i don't know kind of like do you think it's important to because like I feel like we're getting way too into our phones. Like people are on their phones eight hours a day, and like yeah, no, that's not, I understand. That's not human. I understand, but honestly, no. Like yeah, I've had like vacation. <laughs> yeah, I went on vacation where I would like try to spend less time. Like I barely spent any time on my phone. Like when I was in Florida, um, and that was that, yeah, that, was, that felt good, but. At the end of the day, 
No, my my strategy, my tactics, all goes down to the internet. <laughs> it like, cause like the you can literally build a fucking castle on the internet. You can exactly, build yeah. a huge ass fucking castle with the most exciting rooms, and you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. but at the end of the day, you you can all, and I actually do think that. Yes, you're right. Too many people are sp maybe spending too maybe spending too much time, but you can use the internet to get people off as well. Like us right now, like I would love to, for us like eventually to meet up in person. You know what I'm saying? But this it yeah. would not have happened without the internet. It's true. You know what I mean? It's just part of evolution, and yeah, I guess it's like here to stay. Like if you want to build anything, like a brand, social media is the first place. Yeah, I mean, like, how do you get, how do, how do all these big artists get people out to a show? It's mostly online. Like, you're not posting. It's so targeted online. Everything's so targeted. You find the people that resonate the most with you. You find the people, you know what I mean, that are just the perfect fit. But if you're putting, you're putting out a sign out here, out like, you're, you're going to be reaching some Joe Schmo who is miles away from... <laughs> where you your frequency is or whatever you you know what i'm saying like your message it, it's just dude that's, my soundcloud lessons are from like europe and yeah exactly yeah. exactly so yeah i've even seen artists they'll like saint john he, he just uh he, his biggest fan base was like in fucking like europe yeah like he has a huge fan base in russia like huge so, like, um, someone else I was just thinking of, um... I, I heard that we listen to the same stuff nowadays, like, the whole world. Like, the music is more, like, you, uh, like, more... Universal? Universal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. But most people listen to the English music, like, from yeah. the United States, yeah. like... That's just culture. I bet that's the majority of the music people listen to. I mm -hmm. think that. Yeah, yeah. I want to say something about building a presence online. So this is how I think of it. Because I like to look at like emotions, mentality, physicality, yeah. like astral. I like to look at everything like as a different world. Yeah. Within one person, right? So mm -hmm. the internet is just another world that we interact through. And even like all of our social media accounts, like our Instagram, we curate it for it to be like, you know, a special way that we want people to perceive us mm -hmm. and our best self or whatever. And you know, people can have a problem with that and say, oh, that's fake. That's not all, all true or whatever. Like it's not, you don't, you don't always look like that, but whatever. It doesn't matter because the internet is just what you put on it. You know, like you get to create that world for people. And what I've been noticing lately is that even my website, there's another world for me to invite people into. And so I'm like really, really changing. Mm. Like, like I guess like my mind is like kind of changing around that. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm like making like my website like as if because i think that even of like like you said oh like when you think about um little nas x like how he does his stuff i automatically think of astral world like he is creating for his album you know i'm like wait is that just his album or is that like his own kind of just like you know what i mean like representation of his whole artist whatever and so I kind of took that upon myself, like, well, I'm new energy wellness, but, like, what if it was new energy world? Like, I like that, because I kind of like it to separate from me. I don't want it to be, like, Izo's world, like, everybody, like, I'm the center, I have such a huge head, like, that kind of, like, clashes with my belief system. Like, I don't think that I should just be, like, this big star, and it's just around, like, my face. I think it should be, like, my work, because it's, like, my work and me are kind of separated, even though I'm behind it. I feel like it has, like, a mind of its own. And you know what I mean? Like creativity is like divine. It's like I'm just the vessel that it comes through. So I'm just like super stoked to like, because I a lot of people too, they have apps. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in the future, that's going to be so much more common that everybody has an app. Yeah. You know? True. So I don't think it's like, I mean, yeah, it's it, we are going that way. And yeah, we're kind of, sometimes we can get away from our humanity. 
But like you said earlier, it's about that, you know, discipline to remember like, well, I know for my mental health, I need to get outside for 30 minutes a day. I need to, you know, yeah. you have to just take care of yourself and mm-hmm. never let Long yourself self. be put last. Mm-hmm. So discipline. Technology can be very brainwashing, yeah. but it can be a very beautiful thing that leads to a lot of growth at the same time. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and like I like how you explain like the whole like uh, the album online and stuff. And um, honestly, I just I just it's all I I look at it as like portals. Like it's just like like me talking to you guys right now. It's like we're like communicating through a portal. Like it really is. I mean, it's all made. It's like made. It's freaking crazy how we're, we're talking right now, real time. Like when you really think about it, and whatever whatever project you have whether it's your your online coaching your your you have your beats or you're making an album or a single like you're you're bringing people into like this portal it's like a whole it's like a whole world like you got to look at it as like a world almost like yeah so it's like obvious world gold so world like come check it out Mm -hmm. it's a party you know we're alive we can breathe we have yeah. power today. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, like right now, so many people just, you know, building huge audiences and 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 getting rich doing it, like making insane amounts of money just online. Like, why not just use it? Why not? I know. And as a spiritual soul, like. Yeah, yeah, it, it comes down to balance. Yeah, I think you definitely need to have your balance. But it's like this is such a, it's it's honestly a blessing. Like we're here as spiritual souls. Like yes, we have these physical bodies, so it's like we're here to experience. Like we're, we're here to experience everything. That's how I see it. And this is, like, like no, we're here in such a, an incredible time. Like we are here right now. Like the internet just started. Like. This is an amazing opportunity we have. Amazing opportunity. Yeah, take the time to meditate and get away from it, totally. I don't think you should ever neglect um, your spirit, your soul, you know what I mean? Go into the astrals. Have fun in the astrals. Yeah, definitely. But at the same time, like, we're in the matrix out here. Like, we're really out here in the matrix. So it's like, and you need, the money is like, it's like everything. Yes, I know there's there's people who they do, and this works. You can go somewhere, um, <laughs> you can go somewhere and live really cheap, and not have to worry. There's still money involved, honestly. But there there are communities where you can trade and stuff like. But um, and yeah, that that could possibly you know help you. That would probably help you get more in touch with your spiritual self because, I mean, then you can just disconnect from everything. But really, that's like where I'm at. Honestly, I'm in between the left worlds. Mm. Like, cause I just have been working this job, and it's like eight thirty to five, and I'm like, I hate this. So like, and my I know my dad's friend moved to Florida when he was younger, and like, just chilled. But like, I don't I don't, I don't want to do that. Just like settle. Yeah. No. But totally. Would, yeah be financially free and like create yeah yeah and honestly as someone like i feel like a lot of us spiritual soul like people who really like woken up to our true spirit like we like as they say indigos like they don't like the authority they don't like you know to be told what to do they they hate constraints they hate um you know, working nine to five, like it's not for us, really. It's like because the spirit is, birds. yeah, the spirit is completely free. It's it's completely free. It's limitless. So that's why, when you wake into your actual spirit, you're like, what the fuck? Like I'm not gonna work nine to five. Like I'm actually like limitless, and you're putting this limit on me, or I gotta work this many hours just to put fucking food on the table. Like fuck that. And that's why I feel like many spiritual souls are going to be some of the most successful business owners because business oh, be, being your own boss an entrepreneur 
is one of the most freeing things that you can do for yourself. So, I mean, you, yeah, you, you can be a freelancer, like you can do, and that's, that's very freeing too. Like if you're doing stuff like fr freelance work and entrepreneurship, I feel like is some of the keys to having freedom for your, yeah, in the, in the matrix, in your spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's crazy. You said that. Cause like, I've been talking to my parents and like everything we're talking about is like literally what I'm going through right now. And like, I took this little quiz cause my mom wanted me to, to like figure out what I should do. Cause still like not, you know, doing what I want to do exactly. Mm -hmm. And it said to like be your own boss and like everything you were saying, be your own entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh man. There's this awesome the like chart i forget what it's called Ki uh, kiyagi i don't know it's like this japanese chart where it, which i think is a valuable um like if you were to want to start your own business i think it's very valuable to look at and i can send this in the discord it's it's like it's like these circles overlapping <laughs> and it's uh it's oh, like goodness. you know what i'm talking about right it's like what you're good at what you what your yeah. interests are um and uh <sighs> And then, like, at the bottom, it's like, money, yes, right? yeah, 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 what yeah, services yeah. can you provide, and yeah, what can you make money? I'm going to do that right after this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, um, because, honestly, I feel like entrepreneurship or fr freelance, freelancing, I, I feel like is not as freeing, and that's why I, I stopped, like, I did the mixing and mastering, I made some good money off it, actually, and, but I was being a freelancer, and it's just like, yeah, I could have done that, but it was, like, a lot of hours of just... It, it can only scale so far, I feel like. So, like, yeah. I decided to go into a whole new a whole new business, like, marketing agency. So, highly scalable, like, can make That's tons, really of, tons of money. And what my end goal is, is, which I already started doing, hiring a bunch of people. Like, I'm literally hiring someone in, like, four hours. <laughs> because I love them. I just interviewed them yesterday. Um, but it's just like having people do the work for you, but like still being present in the business. Absolutely. But it's like, my goal is like to have a, a whole team that is, you know, working towards the same goal. So that way I can have more time to do freaking hour to two hour long meditation. So I can go into the astrals and fucking do whatever. <laughs> and then, and then I can spend another two hours working on my next song, my single, whatever. And then spend another, uh, you know, more time just working on social media. It's just freeing up my t more time, really. That's what entrepreneurship really helps you do. Yeah. Like, yes, up, up front, it will take so much. It'll, it'll, it'll take a lot of work, like, definitely. But at the end of the, but if you look long term, it's going to pay off. Always look long term when, you, when you're talking about entrepreneurship. And that will be the thing that takes you the furthest. And don't take this from me. I mean, almost every successful, most successful business owners will tell you the same thing. I, like Gary Vee, yes, I, I am. I'm so, like, yeah, I love him so much. And he preaches this and not only him, like so many successful people. Long term, just look long term, honestly. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be the key. That's going to be the key to ultimate freedom, like fulfilling your spirit. Because I know fucking working nine to five is draining on the spirit like i still i gotta figure out like what else i could do to like you know raise the consciousness and vibration other than just music because i feel like it's hard to like make music and only just have music and growth yeah so i mean what wouldn't like getting on the internet help you out there you know getting yourself out there more I got this little um, yogi, and look, well, like, my mom's right there, but <laughs> I was going to say that, like, even if you have, like, sometimes in the past, like, when I first started making YouTube videos, which I took my YouTube videos down right now because whatever, but when I first started making YouTube videos, I, like, didn't have the courage to do it. I was like, oh, man, like, I'm so shy. Like, what do I say? And so I literally, like, hit the joint. <laughs> And I like got on and I was so silly, but like, whatever, you know, you just know? get whatever you yeah. need to get you in the mood. Yeah. And literally this yogi team, 
It says celebrate your successes and failures because both required great courage. So, you know. That's a beautiful quote. <laughs> Thanks. Izo, for you also, since you're doing coaching, um, one thing I know, I mean, it's really cool. I'm really, like, I just discovered this one dude and uh he runs a huge freaking business like he just hit 30k a month and Bam. what is it called well his he runs in uh basically in, um like a consulting business his name is uh -huh. Serge guitar and he only has 77 subscribers but it's like it's that it goes to show you you don't need a shit ton like you just need a deeply you know people who are engaged who trust and you know, want to be in that upward upward spiral with you. All right. So that's it's like, encouraging. Yeah, he his videos. You know, the, I, I I've been the first one to like on a ton of his videos, hey. but but he's gotten a lot of clients through those videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All Just because right. you're not seeing a lot of maybe likes or shares, what a ton of views. If you get two five views three of those people could be potential customers. That's potential true. Potential hardcore fans, whatever. I feel like TikTok, I've been growing lately. Like, I literally posted one video that it took two days to film. And mm -hmm. like, I did, I mean, I put a lot of heart into it. Yeah. But you, did you see it? It hit like 10K. And I oh, got like awesome. 200, I got like two, almost 300 new followers just off of that one video. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it was pretty awesome, I, and I see how TikTok, it's so much easier to scale. Like, my Instagram's been on, like, six, five hundred, yeah. like, for so long, yeah. and, like, TikTok is just, like, it keeps going up, yeah. you know? So that's another reason why Gold So, like, if you wanted to go on TikTok, like, it's so much easier, in my opinion, to grow, right, Oleg? Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, my best friend, Bismarck, he hates TikTok, because <laughs> in, for his perception, his it's all perception. His perception yeah. is it's all just dancing people doing dumb shit. But my TikTok, when you look at my feed, it's only spiritual things. It's only woke things Same. slash mm -hmm. conspiracy. Like your that's TikTok it. is what made me want to get one, honestly. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. It's it's you those TikTok will show you what you want to see. If you don't want to see yeah, dancing, I, do. I don't see any dancing on my timeline. No. Yeah. But if you click on it one time, like you click on the dance. No, one, still uh, they won't show it to you, even if you. Well, free. Yeah. Sure. Gold Soul. I mean, it'll literally the like there's stages. a. Yeah, but there's an option. Like if you see a video that's so dumb, you literally can put like not interested, and True. it won't send you that kind of stuff anymore. Wait, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Come on, Gold Soul. We want you on TikTok. Get on TikTok. <laughs> do it. <laughs> the me I'm about to start uploading a TikTok every day. I fucking love it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And look I used what, to not yeah. like it that much, but it grew on me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you yeah, it'll I've give you what you want. Seen best sides to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was always watching shy. other people's TikToks. It's very, very personalized. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. TikTok is way more addicting than Instagram. <laughs> I yeah. I can go off Instagram sure. quickly, but sometimes I find myself it'll, an hour will go by. I'll be like, what the so, fuck? <laughs> I've been in conspiracy TikTok. talk for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah. when you're watching the conspiracies, like, aren't you technically like looking for videos to make yourself? Yes, that's like what, it's research yeah. too. Yeah. It, I uh, yeah, exactly. I look at, <laughs> yeah, I look at it as research. Yeah, always it depends look at it on as how research. you look at it. For mm -hmm. sure. 